Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today I am going to be going over my recent medication change. My psychiatrist added on another prescription, so I'm going to go over kind of when you're likely for your prescription to change and some of the effects of having two different medications at the same time. Also, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm doing a lot of stuff on the van right now, so you'll see a lot of those videos coming up. And the book series that I'm doing will be continuing, but because I'm working on the van, um, those are just the videos that are coming up right now. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start with how your medication will likely get changed. So your medication gets looked at, especially when you're stepping up a level of care. So if you look at the bottom level is just like seeing your therapist, the second level would be IOP, which is the intensive outpatient program. The next level would be PHP, which is partial hospitalization, and then um, inpatient, and then emergency room. So each time you step up in one of those categories, they're likely gonna change your medication. If the one that you're on is working for you, they might just up that one. If you're not already at the maximum dose, um, they could change it all together if it's not working for you, or they could add a secondary one. So in my case, my psychiatrist ended up adding a second medication. So it's really important to also know that you're never really stuck with a the medication. There's so many different antidepressants out there that if there's something that you don't like about one of your medications, they can always find something else for you to take. So in my case, I really liked the medication that I was on and it seemed to be working well for me, minimal side effects. I didn't really wanna up my dosage because I was already at about half of what the maximum dosage was. And so she decided to add on a anti-anxiety medication, which also has the side effect of helping with depression. So she called it a booster. Um, I don't typically have a lot of anxiety, so I felt kind of weird taking an anxiety medication um, to boost my depression medication but it was better than the alternative of being closer to the max dose of the medication that I was already on. And for me, it really does something to your psyche when you're taking two medications or when you're adding a different medication um, for the same thing. I know that it's not probably logical, but when you're already on one medication and they decide that it's not working for you and you need another one to be a booster because your depression is so bad, it just uh, messes with you a little bit, I guess. So that's what happened for me. Um, it's really important to know that you're not stuck with the medication and you wanna figure out what the side effects are. So the psychiatrist is never making you take that medication they're suggesting and writing a prescription for it, but if you don't like the side effects or if there's just something you don't like about it, you're never stuck. So before you take it, you want to ask what the side effects are. Now, don't be afraid of these side effects because they can list a million things and it doesn't mean that it's gonna to happen to you, but you wanna be aware in case you experience some kind of change that you can be like, oh yeah, that might be the medication. Another thing that you wanna ask is what the minimum effective dose is. So that's probably what they'll start you on, but it's the minimum effective dose for you to start feeling some relief from whatever your issue is. So for mine, it was 10 milligrams of the new medication I'm on. So she stepped me up to from five to 10, um, 10 once daily and then 10 twice daily, so 20 is the actual uh, minimum effective dosage. And you also want to know how long it's gonna take for the medication to take effect. So a lot of the antidepressant medications can take two to three weeks. So if you're in a PHP program and you're only there two weeks, or if you're in IOP and you only have a week left, uh, you wanna make sure that you contact your 
a normal psychiatrist or normal therapist for them to be able to do a checkup on you. You don't want to be suffering from some side effects and then go off your meds or not have someone to help change your meds if you need to do that. So yeah, uh, when you step down in program, you'll usually have someone checking up on you, but they're probably not gonna change your meds. They're only gonna change them um, if you step up into the care or if you request it or you're suffering side effects. And always remember that you wanna advocate for your own health, especially in the mental health care field. You have to advocate and be assertive, otherwise you're not gonna get the help that you need.